minutes, 20 seconds left to play. Central Lion 14, Sigourney nothing. Third down and two for Sigourney at the 28. Inside handoff, straight ahead. First down, I believe. Jeff Club, the fullback, number 30. Picked up the first down. First and 10, Sigourney at the 24. Big play for the Savages. They got that first down. They have to take it all the way in now. They got to get the points on the scoreboard. 11 minutes left. First and 10 at the 24 for Sigourney. They trail 14 to nothing. They give it to Brian Bunning. Gets down to the 19. Run, we have another score in. Oklahoma State uh, 14 now, ISU 7 second quarter score, so Okie State takes the lead. Both teams fighting for a share of the Big A title. Be the first time for Oklahoma State if they win. First time since 1912 for, for uh, Iowa State if they win when it was the Missouri Valley. 10 minutes, 35 seconds left to go fourth quarter. Double A championship game, second and seven for Sigourney. Flags are dropped and the whistle blows at the line of scrimmage. Calling it Illegal again. procedure against Rock Rapids Central Lions. So instead of it being second and seven, it's now second and two at the 16-yard line for Sigourney. Second down and two at the 16. Deuce backfield. Jeff Holm, the quarterback for Sigourney. They move it straight ahead. Give the handoff to number 32. Jeff Club, the fullback. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Mike Schubert made the stop. A little equipment problem down there at the 16-yard uh, line. Jeff Club lost his shoe. Following this game, we will have the championship game of Class 3A, Emmitsburg against Waterloo Columbus. Here it's 14 to nothing in the double-A title game. Rock Rapids Central Lion 14, Sigourney nothing. Sigourney with the football, third down and two at the 16. left to play in the football game. Third and two from the 16 for Sigourney. They quick pitch it outside, nearly bottled in there, but Steve Holt makes a great play, spins his way down to the eight yard line, first and 10. It will be first and goal. Steve Holt, number 41, the leading rusher in the football game so far. Let's watch it again. The pitch out is nearly overthrown. Holt makes a great catch of it. Now watch the second effort here, he spins away. Gets down to the eight-yard line. First and goal, Sigourney. Scott? They got to bring it in now, and they're going to have to get that extra point conversion. Still enough time. If they can bring it in now, they got enough time left on that clock. Steve Heistover over the ball at center. Jeff Holm, your quarterback. They hand it to Steve Holt. He powers his way across the four. Second down and goal at the four-yard line for Sigourney. There you see him, number 41, Steve Holt. He has over 100 yards rushing so far this afternoon. Eight fifty-seven left to play in the football game. Double A, second down and goal from the four-yard line. Savage is still leading in every statistic except the score. Split T backfield, the backs are wide. Quarterback is Jeff Holm. They give it to the fullback club. He powers his way. Gets down to about the two. Jeff Club carried the football, number 32. Tom Roach, number 20, junior linebacker, had to make the stop for Central Lion. It's 
Score just in. Michigan leads Ohio State in the third quarter. 22 to nothing. That's a surprise. Goal to go now for Sigourney. Straight ahead. They power to Steve Holt. He powers the way. Fumbles the football. Fumble there. And Central Lions has recovered. Steve Holt fumbled the football at the two-yard line. And Rock Rapids Central Lions takes over. First and ten at their own two-yard line. Big, big play, Scott. I think Jarvis DeBoer got that fumble. Let's watch it here now. The ball's coughed up right in the air. There it goes. It's hard to see who fell on it. Jarvis DeBoer, Jarvis I DeBoer is credited with the uh, recovery. Credit for the fumble recovery. Big, big play for the Central Lion defense. They have done the job all day. Sigourney has been able to move the football, but only down to about the 20-yard line. Sigourney's been moving the ball every time they get their hands on it. Just can't put the points on the board. That was the deepest penetration of the day for Sigourney, but they still have been unable to score. Steve Holt has carried the ball 16 times for 104 yards for Sigourney. But he'd sure, certainly like to uh, try that play again because he's the man who fumbled. And Jarvis DeBerg retired for Sigourney. Little ways of... All right, Gilligan, come on. <laughs> Halftime score from Wisconsin. The University of Northern Iowa Panthers lead Wisconsin Whitewater. 14 to 13. If the Panthers win today, they'll finish the year eight victories and three losses. Seven oh five left to play, fourth quarter, 14 to nothing, Central Lion with the football. Ball at the four-yard line. They try to bring it out, get some running room. Drive the left side up to about the nine. Another score just in. Iowa State has scored again. It's now Iowa State 14, Oklahoma State 14. From Stillwater, Oklahoma. ISU 14, Oklahoma State 14. The Cyclones have scored again to tie it. Third down and three at the nine-yard line for Rock Rapids Central Lions. Straight ahead, short of a first down across the 10-yard line. 6.15 left to play. Number 74 made the stop. Randy Steba for Sigourney. See the scoreboard clock reads six minutes, 15 seconds, 14 to nothing. Central Lion leading 14 to nothing. Michigan leading Ohio State 22 to nothing in the second half. There was no score at halftime of that football game, and the Wolverines have now lead it 22 to nothing. Central line just picked up a big first, first and down. Ten. Now. It looks like it was a little bit short. They brought the six in for the measurement. First and ten, Central Lions. The clock is now their ally. Six minutes left in the game. First and ten from their own 12-yard line. Out of the wishbone. Handed off inside to Postma, the fullback. He powers his way up to about the 17. Postman picks up five, second down and five at the 17-yard line. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Central Lion with the football and the lead, 14 to nothing. Jarvis DeBerg, your quarterback. He hands it straight ahead. Power play right up the middle. Over left guard. Postma carried the football again, number 32. First and 10. Another important first and 10 for Central Lion. They use up the clock and continue to control the football. Five 
22 left to play. First and 10 from the 24. Central line. They go outside with Jarvis DeBerg, number 21. Crosses the 25 up to about the 28-yard line. Controlling the football here in the fourth quarter, Rock Rapids Central Lion on the way to winning their 25th consecutive football game. Second down and five at the 29. Across the 30-yard line carrying the football is Tom Roach. Number 12, Leland Gwen made the stop. Roach limping slightly as he gets up off the artificial turf here. Third down and two. Ball now at the 32-yard line. Central Lion player on the turf here, being attended to by the trainers. I believe number 32, fullback Dwayne Postma, is the man who's down. Try and check that for you officially. 430 showing on the scoreboard clock. Central Lion with the football and the lead, 14 to nothing. Number 32 is the fullback, Dwayne Postma, gets a nice round of applause from the Central Lion backers as he's helped off the field by the trainers. 